I'm Jonathan Cunningham, and I'm a retired U.S. Marine. I was injured in an IED attack in Haditha on New Year's Day of 2005. I founded Stumpworks to make a better prosthetic arm. And the arm that we've developed is, I believe, a revolution in prosthetics. Only somewhere between 30 and 50% of arm amputees actually wear a prosthesis. And the reasons that they don't wear one uh, primarily relate to fit and comfort. It's actually how we attach this stuff to the body that ends up most influencing whether anybody wears this stuff or not. I began thinking that the way to solve this was to use technology that solved a similar problem that had benefited from a much larger industry. And in, to me, that seemed like it was to make um, a prosthetic socket using athletic shoe technology instead of hard carbon fiber and unbreathable silicone rubber. I wear it so much more than I ever did before, and, and, and I find that it enables uh, uh, activities that I, that I couldn't really participate in. You know, I, I can actually uh, rock climb in a rock gym and, um, you know, bear the same amount of weight with this hook on my right side as I can with my arm on the left. And, um, and that's just such an improvement over the old style socket, which I liken to wearing a Dutch wooden shoe with a pair of rubber socks. Dude. I found out about DAV Patriot Bootcamp from a friend who went through it with his small business in Denver. I wanted to uh, participate just because of the, you know, the commitment that, that DAV and PVC have for, for this community and also because you know, participating in an event like this with not just people who are entrepreneurs but who also share my veteran experiences is something that can't be replicated. Really, it seems like most of these people have retained a commitment to service that they had when they were serving in the military, and now they're continuing on in a, in a new phase, and it's just great to hear about that and be part of it. More than four generations of prototypes of this arm, hundreds of prototypes, and we've finally gotten to something that, um, in, in my humble opinion, really does change the way these things work and um, so now I'm at a stage where, I, where we're hoping to make sure that it can be delivered to um, the, the people who really need it. There just hasn't been good stuff available and hopefully now there is.